Hey, Jason Barofka here with Bass Angler Magazine. I got your DIY tip here. Uh, you know, for you guys that like throw chatter baits, swim jigs, spinner baits, and uh, you know, you might have your favorite one, an older one um, that doesn't have a actual keeper on the hook itself. Um, some have this little peg here, but uh, and, and say you're out there and you got your favorite trailer and you don't have enough of them or, or you just don't want to lose a lot of them, um, I'm going to show you a little trick on how to build a little trailer keeper out of a paper clip. All right, so there's just a couple things you need. This is some 24 gauge craft wire. You can pick it up at any craft store. It's real soft. It bends, but it's still strong. Um, then, of course, some large size paper clips. You can use small ones, but here we have some large ones. Get your paper clip. Doesn't really matter what color paper clip. If you want a colored one, you can buy one. Um, and real simple, you just kind of spread it out. So it's kind of like a triangle, just like that, right? What you're gonna do here, real quick, is just cut this right in the middle of that triangle. Just like that. So now we have this piece here, right? After that, take this corner, this corner piece here, bend it over. Now it's like that, right? Then you're gonna twist it so now it's flat. See how it's flat just like that? Then you can cut this little piece edge corner here off as low as possible, or as closest to the wire as you can. And then now you got this little loop. So take your pliers, kind of just bend it slightly straight, just like that. So it should look almost something about that shape right there. It's kind of where you get creative. Depending on what kind of bait, I'm using a Zocco here, and you can see this one, I mean a Zocco is a great bait, it stays on your hook all the time even if you don't have a keeper, but you can tell this one's a little worn out. So um, depending on what bait you have is the shape that you want to make this keeper in, and you can adjust this after you put it on too. So this part is going to be fastened to the bottom just like that, right? So we're going to want to just hold it onto the bait just with your finger so you can kind of tell. Bend that up a little bit. And then now you, I'm gonna wanna come down, just like that. Basically, you just kinda wanna make a little hook to it. it doesn't have to look pretty, cause all, most of this is gonna be inside. And now, you have a loop just like that. Cut a little bit off. About like that. Now you got your keeper. Now we're ready to attach it to the bait. Before we attach this to the bait, you want to spread out these skirts here, just like that. Spread the skirt out so it's nice and even. You want to cut off a piece of this wire, maybe about eight to 10 inches, so you got enough to play around with here. And you see where the collar is? Some people have a hand-tied jig, hand-tied uh, chatterbait, vibrating jig, but this one here has a rubber collar, and actually this will help hold that skirt on and make it last a little longer. So what I do is just slide it right underneath there, and. Uh, what I like to do is just get one twist on there before I attach this to it. So, you're basically just tying it on one time. It's, it takes a little, little time. Kind of make it even. Slide it. Top side down. Flip it up. And you want to string it through. You just want to strain it through both sides. You can do it a couple times, you can do it once. The whole time just kind of keep pressure on it, keep it in there. So if you get any loops or in the wire or strands of skirt, just try to straighten them out as best you can. Um, we're almost done here, it's real, real simple. Now you want to put the other side back through again. And all this is doing is keeping, keeping it all wound up and it's going to be tight. Once, you'll see, once we tighten it down, it's going to come together real good. So I'm pulling this side through, right? Make it as tight as possible, but it'll all come together once we tighten it down. Now all you have to do is wrap it a few times around. I'm going to do this twice on this side. And then you want to come together with these two, cross them, and just kind of spin them a little bit just like that. And then you grab the tip of your pliers here, grab a hold of that, and this is where it's all going to tighten it down. 
just spin it and that whole thing will just tighten up so tight now you gotta be careful you don't want to spin it too much because you'll just break it right off okay it's on there it's tight okay so now it's it's not it's not moving it's part of that it's part of that bait now now all you got to do come here cut it as close as you can right where that that thing spun up as close as you can just like that still leaving a slight little tag in there right now you don't want anything to be come out poking so you can just go ahead and smash that down you don't want it to be real pokey now you've got your keeper on there now you can adjust this bend this however you want it and when you get your worn out bait that you've been using all day that might be laying in the back of the boat now you can reuse it again just slide it back on there you see how that's already worn out slide it on there now just push it right in the belly push it down real good now you get your keeper you push it down real good and now there's no way that thing is coming off one little tip is if you're really worried about that silver wire you can get a marker and color it or you can just go ahead and buy a colored paper clip they sell every single color you can find one that matches your green pumpkin color black and blue whatever you want so that's just another quick tip now there's no way possible that is coming off unless a fish just rips the tail off that's going to be stuck on there for a long time you can put that back in your box and reuse it anytime you want hope you guys get out there um, don't waste too many baits get yourself some zakos stick them on the back of your uh, swim jigs chatter baits whatever you want and catch some more fish